So we are presently heading down to Dunbar Park, which is just north of the Rock Cut, because the Walter J. McCarthy is heading that way. And I've been wanting to catch a ship there for well over a year. Yeah, probably a solid year and a half now at this point. This never happened, so I'm gonna make that happen, is my hope. Um, also today I'm planning to head to Detour, because I've never been there. Wanna check it out. And there are also two parks near D one in Detour and one just outside of Detour that are part of the ham radio program Parks on the Air. And so I brought my equipment to do that. Hoping to do that. Um, there is a chance of thunderstorms, so if, there start, if that starts happening, I may not, because I don't know about throwing a wire up in a tree to transmit radio during a thunderstorm, so I might skip that. I'm hoping to be able to do it. That's my plan for today. I'm going to bring you along with me. So this is going to be kind of a, a longer video, but I will do my best to put chapters at the bottom. You know, for people who just want to see the ship, they can just stop there. And uh, anyone who wants to uh, keep watching for the radio stuff or for detour, can keep going. So, but I'm going to keep driving here. Oh, that was my road I needed to turn on right there. So I'm going to make a U-turn and <laughs> go to Dunbar Park. See, this happens. I get too busy talking and I'm not paying attention. So. Next shot you see, well, will probably be the Walter J. McCarthy on the St. Mary's River. So, see you in just a second. I'm here with the Walter J. McCarthy, Jr. And if we look, if I zoom in, I'm not sure who that is. Going upbound. I don't have service here to look on marine traffic, so... You can probably hear the waves here in the river. Um, you can tell because of the way that they are. <laughs> and it is still raining just lightly. And I'm sure there's rain on the lens, but hopefully it's uh, not causing any issues. a pretty good clip actually here I'll zoom out just to kind of show you so the the land immediately behind the Walter J McCarthy there is Nebish Island right over there the land you see behind the Walter J McCarthy that is Sugar Island so both of these are part of the United States. Just for, uh, <laughs> I guess, reference or knowledge. And if we keep going this way, you'll kind of see the extent of where I am. You see I'm here at the park. Nice little park. I've only been here once and there was a couple feet of snow on the ground. And this was all ice. The river was ice. In fact, I think they were running the, uh, the car race on the river that day when I was here. <laughs> Hard to believe. And there's the full, full 360. And Dunbar Park is just south of 12 Mile Road. For anyone who is interested in that. So, but for now, I think I'm going to be quiet. Done enough yammering. 
We'll just watch the uh, the Walter J go through. I guess I will yammer just a little bit more. I am presently donning my uh, mosquito head net <laughs> for reasons that should be obvious. Um, I just spent two days backpacking and uh, the mosquitoes were apocalyptic nearly. So, like, you know, I'm going to bring this just in case. I'm glad I did. Because as soon as I stepped out of the truck, I had one on me. <laughs> there we go. I think I might brighten this up just a touch. Being overcast, it tends to fool the uh, light meter in the camera. Kicking up a little bit of wake behind her there. What do you call that? Prop wash? I don't know what you call that. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out so you can see this. I don't know if you can see the water coming back in, how it went out, and now it's coming back. Because it was up here by the rocks when I got here. That's so interesting that that happens. Okay, there we go. Now I'll get back on the ship. <laughs> Thanks for uh, joining me. Um, Argo is dry in the truck. Um, I didn't really want to have him get rained on for one, but also having him on leash with the geese and the seagulls and all that running around here. So <laughs> I figured that would be uh, kind of a handful while trying to record. So anyway, as they Walter J. McCarthy fades out of view, I will uh, either close out this video, this will either be the end, or next you see me, you might be seeing a radio or me throwing a wire up in a tree. So I'll figure that out later though. So thanks for joining me. See you later or possibly in a second. Wow. Okay, well here, let me see if I can show, I had to take the microphone off the GoPro because <laughs> it wouldn't fit. So this is what uh, I'm seeing. 
And so for those who are uninitiated, that is not a lot of traffic for 40 meters. You see all those vertical bars, those are people talking or some other sort of transmission. And there's not a lot there. So I've heard that 40 meters isn't working very well. So I might have to try another band. So. The funny thing is, as I get this set, there we go, is that this park hasn't been done since 20, since last year, March. And I was pulling in here, there was someone doing this park already. <laughs> and I use the word park loosely. This is a, 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 a like a wildlife area. Um, tons of mosquitoes out there. That's why we're in here. <laughs> so I'm gonna try a little bit more here. CQ, 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 See what I can get. This is Kilo Juliet 7, Sierra Yankee X-Ray calling CQ for parks on the air. CQ, CQ, CQ for parks on the air. This is Kilo Juliet 7, Sierra Yankee X-Ray calling CQ for parks on the air. Hmm. I think I'm gonna try another band. I'll be back. Yankee X-ray calling CQ for parks on the air. Let's try 20 meters. Hey Charlie, I have Foxtrot. I heard a call ending in Foxtrot. Go ahead. Yeah, Kilo Charlie Five Foxtrot KC5F. Kilo Charlie Five Foxtrot, you sound great here in the park. US six six four nine five nine easy over. Uh, QSL, thanks, Cody. You're five eight. You're sounding really good in North Carolina as well. Uh, roger that. You're uh, five seven here, Midco State of Maine. Yeah, I got you at a 5.9 plus into South Carolina, close to Greenville. QSL, I got you sort of a staticky 5.6 here in middle Georgia. Thanks for being out there. Happy to have a happy Memorial Day. 7.3 to you. Roger that. I've got a 5, you know, 5.9 in Alabama, Alpha Lima. Hmm. I think that might be it. I definitely have enough. I'll try this a little bit more. Yeah, Roger, Roger. You're a good 5x9 here. Great signal coming into North Carolina. The handles Ron, Romeo, Oscar, November. Yeah, correct. Yeah, you're 5x9 uh, near Boston, Massachusetts. You're 5x9 with some QIM that just appeared, huh? Yep. Okay, I have my veil on. <laughs> because the mosquitoes, you'll see here in a moment, they're thick. So I just wanted to show kind of what I'm... I heard someone driving anyway. What I'm working with here, you can see I have coaxes coming out. Goes up, I have this pole. I don't know if you can see. And up here on the pole, I have to give it a little bit of a shake. You can see that I have a little matching unit up there. It's 49 to 1. Because this antenna is what's called a in-fed half wave. It's probably really hard to see. There's a wire that goes to a tree over there. So this wire is actually almost exactly horizontal. And it's touching these branches here, which really you don't want it to touch anything, but the only way I could make it work. So, and you might see the orange line there on the ground. That's my throw line because I threw it up in that tree to get the wire up there. So now I got to take it all back apart, put it all away. And I'm probably going to let Argo out for a little bit. Then we're going to be on to the other park and detour. I have the air conditioning going because it is muggy. And we did get out, you saw. I let Argo out for a bit and uh, got everything packed up. Now we're obviously heading off, hopefully, to the other park. So, once we get around all this stuff. All right, well, you're never going to believe this. <laughs> Sorry for all the shaking. 
Remember we saw the Walter J. McCarthy Jr. earlier? Well, here they are again. And I am in detour right now. So I actually was not expecting to see them again. I figured by the time I did my radio, Parks on the Air, it'd be long gone. It goes to show you what I know though. And then not far on their heels, I'm not sure who this is because I have not checked. Is that the John? What is that? Can you read that? I can't read that. I don't know. I don't know who that is. Kind of crazy though, huh? <laughs> Oops, sorry. I'm trying to get my phone out. So I can see who this is behind them. the Algoma Harvester behind them. There we go. Now we know. Oh yeah, now I can read it. I just couldn't. I should have just been more patient. So anyway, that's kind of a twofer. Well, not in the same shot. I'm going to pan over. I've never been to Detour before. So that is Drummond Island over there. And there's Walter J. McCarthy. And just in case I have any doubters as far as where I am. There we go. Detour Village. All right. Well, I was just setting up <laughs> my antenna <clears throat> to do my, my radio thing here, which is a little harder to do here. There's not as many options <laughs> as far as trees go. Ah. Interesting. Hmm. Nice little village, this detour village. I think I'll just walk up here really quick. And sorry for the shakiness. I know this camera does not have the best stabilization. Not even close. So you can see my truck over there. Pretty much the same basic setup I had before. You can see the pole. So now I have my big camera, so you can actually, there's the pole. I got some sag and I still gotta pull it a little bit tighter. You see the orange cord <clears throat> I have tied off here. So I just need to pull that a little bit tighter. And then, uh, yeah, I'll be getting on the air. No mosquitoes here, so that's nice. You can just see old nose looking through the glass there. There's Argo.
<laughs> All right, I'm gonna get this set up. Maybe I'll go my harvester. Okay, we'll be right back. Yeah, Cody, QSL, thank you very much. You know exactly where you are, a beautiful place up there. Uh, you're 5959 downstate in Adrian, Michigan, over. QSL, Cody, 59 uh, Wisconsin. Thanks so much for the park and 73. Uh, QSL, you're 5-9 here in the Michigan. Good job, thanks to being there, 73. Roger, roger. 5-5, 5-5, Boston, November. Uh, you're 5-8, 5-8 into Western Pennsylvania. Yeah, very good. I was just looking you up on the POTA website as I was listening here to see where you're at. It looks like you're by detour. I'm in Whitehall, Michigan, right on the Lake Michigan shoreline, about halfway up the lower peninsula. QSL, QSL, got you about a 5-3 here in southeast Indiana, sitting in a bean field with an inset antenna thrown into a tree, so all things pretty good. Over. <laughs> Uh, you're sitting in a bean, a bean field, and I'm sitting in a parking lot with an infed halfway thrown in a tree. So we're both doing okay. QSL, you also a 5-9 here in upstate Sierra Charlie. All right. Well, you're never going to believe this. <laughs> I was packing up my radio stuff, and Argo started doing this little whimper thing. I'm like, what is it, dog? <laughs> well, look at that. <laughs> So, oh, it's really bright. I mean, yep, wrong way. There we go. So I know it's one of the Van Ankevorts. Can we see who it is? Joyce. Joyce L. Van Ekevort there. And the Great Lakes Trader barge. So they're moving at a pretty good clip. Sorry, I have Argo pulling on me. Look at that bubble in front. Look at that. That's crazy. Look at that, wow. We have just never had this angle before, but whew. Seems impressive. Trace Elvan Van Ekevort putting spurs to it. So we're still in detour, as you can possibly tell. So that's three ships here in detour I've seen. Um, I had success on both of my uh, radio activations for parks on the air and got to see some country I've never seen before and ships in places I've never seen them before. I'm calling this Memorial Day a win. Right Argo? It's just really dark when you point down. There we go. <laughs> Alright, good job Argo. So we are going to get in the truck now and start making our way back home. And uh, yeah, we both need some dinner. So all we've had is snacks today <laughs> after breakfast. So right, Argo. <laughs> okay, I better do this before I come back up. Last sight from detour here. Some kind of moody clouds. No lightning though. Just some light rain all day. And wish you a great day. We're gonna hit the road. Oh, you can't even see me on the other side of those trees. But anyway, we're that way. So we will be back. Thanks for sticking with us. Have a great day. <laughs>